Good morning, South Brunswick High School. I'm Owen. And I'm Amanda. Here are the announcements for the week of May 24th. Let's get started with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May is a month full of national holidays and observances. Let's check out some of the lesser known holidays of May. National Space Day was created in 1997 by the Lockheed Martin Corporation as a one day event to observe several wonders of the unknown space where planets and star float and also to encourage children to have a more interest in the subject of science. Due to extreme popularity, former astronaut and Senator John Glenn in 2001 expanded Space Day as an international space day. National Turtle Day is May 23rd. Since the year 2000, the American Tortoise Rescue has been sponsoring World Turtle Day. The purpose is to bring awareness and spread knowledge about turtles and tortoises. They also encourage all humans to take action to help the turtles and tortoises survive. There will be a girls soccer Zoom meeting on May 25th at 7 p.m. for anyone interested in trying out for the team in the fall. Sign up to the Google Classroom using the code LUAL6X4 and sign up for the remind messages by texting at SBSoccer21 to 81010. If you have any questions, please reach out to Coach Bravo at alexandra.bravo at sbschools.org. The Viking State best high jumper sophomore Demarion Potts tied the school record of 6'8 recently, then won the Greater Middlesex Conference title in South Plainfield. Demarion is looking to surpass Eddie Watts, who held the school record since 1993. Great job, Demarion, and good luck. Stay tuned at the end of the announcements to see an interview with Demarion. High school fall sports forms are now being accepted and are due no later than July 30th, 2021. Forms completed by parents and students must be current, signed, and dated within 90 days prior to the first day of tryouts. Based on the fall tryout date, the forms must be signed no earlier than May 18th, 2021. A black drop box will be outside by the high school gym entrance for the collection of high school sports forms or only. The drop box will be outside for collection from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, with the exception of weekends and school holidays. The South Brunswick School District will be holding its 16th District Student Art Gallery virtually this year. This event is open to the public now. You can check out the work of our kindergarten through 12th grade students by going to sbhsschools.org. Be sure to check out the work of all the talented South Brunswick art students.
that's all we have for you today. If your club or organization has an event to promote or information to get out to the school, or if you want to give a birthday shout out to your best friend, what better way to do it than right here on VTN? Please email it to us at sbhs.vtn at sbschools.org. Be sure to visit our site regularly at tinyurl.com slash vtn announcements. This site not only includes the video of our latest broadcast, but also links to all of our social media accounts and the most up-to-date news from our school clubs and athletic departments. Thanks for tuning in and have a great week, South Brunswick. Hey everybody, Jim Lambert, NJ Milesput. I'm here with the state leader in the high jump, sophomore Demarion Potts, South Brunswick. Just won a GMC title. He made 6'6 today, Demarion. Some good shots at uh, six, eight and a quarter to try to break the school record. I mean, talk about what it means to you as a sophomore, your first GMC championships to come in here, you know, and win the high jump title. Uh, to be honest, it feels, kind of feels surreal. It doesn't feel, I don't really know how to put it in words. It doesn't feel like I'm at my best right now. Yeah. But I'm only a sophomore, so I have ways to go. I have more improvement to do. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it feels pretty good to have 6-8 under my belt, being the first number one in the state. Yeah, number one in the state. Like I said, you have improvement to go, but you're already the, you know, the state leader. How surprised are you? You and I were talking before. Obviously, no outdoor season last year, your freshman year. You did no jumping at all, right? Last no, year, I mean, you had no, no place to compete, nothing. Nope. I mean, how shocked are you to come in your first high school season and you're jumping 6-8 like this? Where's this coming from? <laughs> I don't know. I was pretty shocked myself when I got it, my first doing me. Uh, to be honest, I have no clue where it came from. I knew I've always been jumpy and you know, like really bouncy, but mm -hmm. other than that, I have no clue where it came from. Do you feel like you're still learning the event, like technique-wise? You obviously yeah. have, you know, um, you know, great acceleration coming to the bar, and you know, it, you get great height on it. It just seems like, you know, you're just you're still pretty new to the event. Do you feel like, you know, the area growth is just comes from? the technique, the steps. I mean, you take me through like what you're really trying to learn is as you try to go to 6'10 and higher. Yeah, uh, coming from middle school to high school, totally two different things. Yeah. Way different, more more different like techniques and learning wise. Uh, this year going into it, I had to switch up how I did it in middle school. And then- In what, what way? Had you, and, I had to do more of learning how to arc my back more and okay. raise my arm. Right. And use my arm as a guide. Right. Because uh, in middle school, I was just jumping over it. And I just had <laughs> yeah, just natural back. talent got you yeah. over. I mean, a lot of people could ju jump high, but it's being able to like throw the hips over and, like you said, arch the back. And um, I mean, what do you think? What's your goal now? I mean, you're six eight now. You know, with a month to go in the season before we get to meet the champs, uh, you know, what are your thoughts on just how high you might be able to go? I know right now, if I do more improvement, sky's the limit for me. I could probably get at least. Seven foot. That's why I'm. That's this what season's I'm your goal. For. Seven. Th yeah. This oh, look out! Demarion looking for seven feet. This season. Uh, future years. By senior year, I want to make it at least seven five. Wow. That's you're looking. So you're looking at the state record then. Yeah. You get up into seven five territory. Mm -hmm. right, you got to set your goals high, right? Yes, sir. And uh, how'd you feel today about your attempt? Six eight and a quarter. Looked like you had some good decent tries there. Yeah. yeah how'd you feel about the way you jumped today? Oh, uh, I felt pretty good. I think at six eight on my last attempt, I think I just burnt out. Mm -hmm. I think my legs are just on after doing the rest uh but that's just more practice for me then and more endurance for my legs but other than that i felt pretty good on my jumps i felt pretty confident yeah, yeah it looked good strong. all right all right yeah you heard from demarion potts gmc champ in high jump he made six six to win today he's a state leader at six eight you heard what demarion said he's looking for seven feet this year and uh look out state record demarion's coming for it sophomore star keep your eye on demarion potts sure. congrats again demarion thank you thank you